The Lakeland City Commission meeting on July 5th began with a presentation by City of Lakeland Human Resources Director Mark Farrington. In his presentation, Mr. Farrington introduced his team, reminded commissioners of the many ways the HR department interacts and interconnects with the city's other departments and services, and outlined the current challenges the city of Lakeland faces as the workforce is changing and competition from private sector employers is increasing. The HR director's message was this, pivot or perish and he challenged city leadership to embrace a structured course correction in order to remain a competitive employer in today's job market. The workforce coming in is a lot different than my generation, and we better figure out how to attract and retain them. Vince Jones, chair of the Rotary 5K Committee for the Lakeland Rotary Clubs, presented a $12,000 check from Lakeland's four Rotary Clubs to the City of Lakeland's Common Ground Park Maintenance Endowment Fund. The donation comes from proceeds of the Twilight 5K Run, a race organized by the Rotary Clubs. In the 19 years of the Twilight 5K's history, donations and proceeds from this event have exceeded $400,000. Commissioner Chad McLeod, who presided over today's meeting in the absence of the mayor and mayor pro tem, thanked the Lakeland Rotary Clubs, their sponsors, and the Parks and Rec team for all they do to keep Common Ground Park a unique and beautiful space where children of all abilities can play side by side together. Commissioner McLeod also read a proclamation honoring John Scott, a Lakeland South Rotary Club member and founder and long-standing chairperson of the Twilight 5K Run. The proclamation by Mayor Bill Mutz and the City Commission encourages all citizens to recognize the significant impact that John and the Rotary Clubs have had on the maintenance and upkeep of Common Ground Park, and it recognizes July 5th, 2022 as John Scott Day in Lakeland. In the official business of the meeting, the Commission unanimously passed an ordinance expanding the Lakeland area mass transit boundaries to include four new properties on Medulla and Pipkin Road. They also approved four recommendations from City Manager Sean Schirouse, which included further construction and improvements at Lakeland Linder International Airport and continued development of the North Wabash Avenue Extension Project. City Manager Schirouse also praised the work of city staff to pull off another successful Red, White & Kaboom Independence Day celebration. Uh, to put on that kind of an event and, and then to come out the next day and you can hardly tell that anything happened is it, pretty impressive and there's a lot of work that goes into that. So I just want to recognize staff for that. And did you know the city's Public Works Department maintains and coordinates the timing of traffic signals located not just on local roads, but also on state-owned roads? The Florida Department of Transportation compensates the city for this maintenance. And today, the commission passed a resolution amending and furthering this agreement. The commission also passed a second amendment to their implementation agreement for the West Polk and Southeast Wellfield projects. The West Polk Wellfield project will initially produce an estimated 2.5 million gallons of potable water daily when it comes online in 2027. It will eventually deliver 10 million gallons of potable water daily by its completion in 2045. The city's water utility department encourages the city's participation in both of these projects to diversify its potable water sources and secure additional supply in anticipation of the 2038 expiration of the city's current water use permit and the potential for regulatory changes before that time. Today's meeting wrapped up with no members of the public choosing to speak and only a few comments from commissioners. If you'd like to dig into today's agenda items or watch the meeting in its entirety, follow the links in the description of this video. I'm Andrew Gash with the Communications Department for the City of Lakeland, and those are your Meeting Minutes.